What's up, everybody? It's David Friedland. I'm at the DM Hardwood Design School. I'm here with Tim Mitchell. He's been working like crazy building this beautiful inlay. I'm gonna flip this camera around. There he is, the man himself. Let's do it. Been on it for days. It's a wood carving device. We're gonna contour it with this. And it's a perfect isolated sander for the job. Get down into those areas you need to just contour, bring something together. It's really taking down that overwood. Oh yeah. Grinding really good actually with a piece of sandpaper. Pretty powerful too. I'm putting some pressure on it. Trying to get down into that crevice. Give us a nice ripple effect on the whole project here. You can see once I reveal the scar somewhat, it's gonna be almost like it's contoured out. Looks like it's popping out of it. See that sander? It's actually a really, really, really good isolated sander actually. We're at the Dave Marzalek School and we have these beautiful inlays. There's metal that was set in here and we're using this ArborTech carving tool. It comes with a sanding disc, also has masonry attachments so you can cut grout, tile, stone, and then it comes with metal grinding devices. And uh, one of the many uses is you can take down, you know, the metal pieces that I've been put into this inlay, so we're going to give it a try. Just did this medallion. I have this ArborTech wood carving machine. And now uh, we're going to use it to take down the overwood on this medallion yeah, before we create this. Here, Hey, it's David Friedland. I'm here with Randy Harris, the legend. Another legend, Lori Davidson. He built this beautiful ocean inlay that we're gonna be starting to carve with the ArborTech carving tool. 
one of the uses is it has this nice flexible rubber head and it, it just works great for carving, uh, cutting tile, getting into tight little spaces. So we're gonna give it a try on this. It's really nice for getting in these little tight spaces. Without hitting these beautiful branches and pieces of coral that are meant to go in the inlay. It's just eating away epoxy. Look at that, perfect. Not uh, for a paper change. Yeah. Really nice tool though, comes in handy when you need to get in tight spots. You got the Allen head uh, yep. wrench? Does it stay on here somewhere? Probably does, I just haven't figured it out yet. You have a lock or no? No. Oh, it probably does too, but I haven't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not this day thing out there. Not this day. Hey everyone. My name is David Friedland, I'm out of Orlando, Florida. I've been using this Arbor Tech mini grinder on this maple staircase to get into the corners and tight spaces. Uh, it's the only tool that I've ever had that can cut tile, masonry, grout, inset. It has an, another attachment to cut metal or grind down metal. There's many different blades you can get on their website. It comes with a really nice case. So. Uh, I've been very pleased with its performance. It's, it has a lot of control. There's variable speed. We've even used it to cut reclaimed wood. We would cut the nails right under the tongue and it made it really easy to remove the wood without damaging it. So uh, I'm sure if you guys get one, you'd be very happy with it. So highly recommend this tool.